from Fox 5 News. It's time for more Good Day New York. All right, welcome back to Good Day New York. Smart technology. Uh, yeah, yeah. Do you have it in your home? No. A lot oh, well, I do have Alexa. I do <laughs> oh, have that. Oh, you do? Yeah, you let her listen to you? I know, I know, I know. <laughs> anyway, lots of people love it. They want it to be part of their home. So uh, if you sell your home, can it help in the value? Joining us right now is Shay Milhauser. At only 29 years old, she has sold $19 million in real estate. What? Yeah. She is a high-end realtor and home flipper. Nice to have you here, Shay. Thank you for having oh, me. Shay, welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah. So what do you think? Does uh, having a smart home, does it make it more... It does, and realistically, a lot of older homes, it's expensive to get your home truly smart with wired up things, um, and it can be expensive. So some of the things I brought today are non-cost prohibitive options that are easy installs for anyone and everyone. Right, before we go, though, now, obviously, people, some people are worried about surveillance, being yes. surveilled and, and lack of privacy. Yes. Does this... Does this uh, this stuff? I mean, like I mentioned, I have Alexa. Yeah. I'm afraid she's listening to me. You know, I don't know. <laughs> the good news is nothing that I brought is going to listen to you or watch you. Okay. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. All right. So, Shay, yeah. tell us about our first little uh, thing. Yeah. Here. So this is actually one of my favorite products. Um, this it's is a my blue... favorite. It's a mirror. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I want to get to stare at himself for the next three minutes. No, this is a Bluetooth capable mirror with an LED light. What's great about it is you just hang it up on the wall, so it's a very you look easy good, install. <laughs> That's the whole segment. Just <laughs> <laughs> looking at himself. Um, but what's even cooler about it is it actually is a built-in built Bluetooth speaker. What that means is you can sync it up to any of your music sources, your phone. You can even take so a phone So your mirror call. sings to you. Yeah, basically your, your mirror, mirror sings, sings to you. you. But you know how like we used to take like a little like transistor or something into the bathroom to have music? Yes. Exactly. It's right here It's now. right there. And what's even cooler is it pairs well with the shower head that is also Bluetooth capable. So between the two of these, this is going to run you about $275. $275. And the shower head is going to be um, 117, roughly. It comes in different colors. And it sings to you, too. It sings to you, too. Well, nice. but that, and that's good. You can listen to Tony Dan's standards. I, I, please, believe me. I, I, would, I, I get it, but I'm, I don't get it. You know, Tony, people pay thousands and thousands of dollars to wire up speakers to their bathroom. And while that would be a nice luxury to be able to get right, basically right, a surround right. sound system, but for 117 and 275 dollars each. Shay, exactly. good idea. Okay, okay, what's this thing? Yes. Yeah, so the the hallmark of all smart homes nowadays is going to be your wireless lock, your keyed entry. Um, this is the back side of the door. What's cool about this is it enables you to assign codes and passwords to anybody you want through their phone, and they can enter your house based on when you want them to. Uh, it, it senses when you come up to the door, so it'll just unlock it for you. Oh, can it be hacked? It can't be hacked. Uh, everything's Bluetooth, and it's based on the phones, and you can remove any allowances you've given to anyone to get in. Now, one of the reasons this is great in New York City is it's good for roommates, it's good for Airbnb, um, it's just a really practical option, and it's good for if you want you know, your Amazon guy to drop packages in your house. This is your way to do How it. Much you can open I... it from anywhere. 234. 235. I don't want anybody in my house without me there. I just, yeah. I don't <laughs> anyway. that's how I feel. Yeah. Like, I feel like this is all. But you know, but no, this is like new stuff. The young kids love this. These are, this is cre this what is, is cool. this? This is this my is cool. favorite. This so cool. under cabinet lighting is almost considered a standard nowadays with new construction. And believe it or not, it's actually one of the biggest pains to get it hooked up. What this does, this is just have a sticky back. You pull it off, you can stick it anywhere, and you can have bright white LED light. You can change it to any color you oh, want, any nice. hue, yes. any brightness. This is only $78. So if you actually look at the cost to install under cabinet lighting, you're talking thousands of dollars. This is less than 100 Beautiful. What do you got here? Bad. That isn't bad. This is just one of my favorite fun smart home tools. Uh, this is you can bring your garden into your apartment or your condo. You can grow tomatoes? You can grow anything. <laughs> Strawberries, tomatoes, uh, herbs, flowers. And what's cool about this is this is basically an espresso pod for your garden. Um, it's a smart grower. You stick a single pod here. I brought dwarf peas with me and many tomatoes. Pods. These are pods. Stick it in there, and this thing will give it all the light it needs, all the water it needs. You just need to fill it up every few few weeks and after a couple weeks you will actually start to sprout real garden items. I kind of like this. How much is this? This will run you 99 for the small one and it gets greater as it gets bigger. But you can get up to nine pods. How about basil? Can you grow basil on this? Go, I mean, I know, I know. Did you see, by the way, did you see the tomatoes growing out of the pylons? Did you see that no. last is week? It, they had a tomato plant in a pylon in the East River and then they found another one. That's so tomatoes. funny. Tomatoes. So, yeah. Shay, thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys for having me.